The Herald Sun and Channel 9 proudly welcome you to The Fabulous 50s On, the second DVD in our exclusive series, 50 Years of TV. We're running documentary films as we wound up our test transmissions, and people seem to find them quite interesting as they stood on pavements and looked in through the glass. People are finding out that they've got a wide choice of variety in the sets that they're choosing, most of them being made right here in Australia, a new industry that's going to grow with television. From the youngsters, there's a mixed reaction. There's no doubt that most of them were fascinated, just like children overseas. And they'll soon forget that once upon a time there was no television and none of the wonderful friends of fantasy and adventure they're going to meet and grow up with. We think that children especially will enjoy the new medium of television, that it will help enlarge their horizons as they see and hear more about the world around them. Stand by, everybody. Here we come. Five seconds to go. Quiet. Stand by. Quiet, please. <coughs> you got to stop, look, and listen, or you'll never know what you've been missing. You'll find the stars of variety in radio. We'll all come on to your house via video when they're at home by the fire. It won't be hard to realize your house is iron. For the greatest sight you've ever seen, spend a night by a television screen. This is the television whisper, this, and you'll be seeing something that is sure to interest. From Channel 9 comes the first television program in Australia. Station TCN presents This is Television. Good evening and welcome to television. From wherever you are along the skyline of Sydney. The very first person to appear on television in Australia. His name is Bruce Kindle. On this night in 1956, Studio Compare. Today, in 1966, Chief Executive. Who said Australia wasn't a land of opportunity? Victoria that year had a very popular governor. Sir Dallas Brooks opened the program at Channel 9 and showed that he had a, a natural tendency to this new Luckily, medium. If you're not happy with what you're seeing, you don't like it, or it just frankly bores you, put the switch to off. <laughs> hey, Doug, I'm over here, mate. Doug, I start, see, I, sorry I didn't tell you, but I start over there, and you, you catch me with a spot as I walk out, you know, my eyes glittering away. Would you please, over there? Doug, will you put the spotlight on where the action is? <laughs> <laughs> Remember a, a tune that went something like this? Graham Kennedy's in Melbourne tonight. Recall it? Well, perhaps you might remember a little blonde fellow who looked something like this. You know, this reminds me of uh, the first time I went into Norm Spencer's office. I went in to see Norm Spencer for a job. And typical of Norm, he jobbed me. And so was born a show that was destined to become a piece of television history. In fact, not so much a program, but a way of life. In the early days, the entertainment was simple, surefire, and straight from the music hall. <laughs> well, I don't need any more of this blue paint. I'll chuck it out while oh, I can. <laughs> In place. Don't worry. We'll get it off with some turf. <laughs> now I'll tell you what we'll do. Uh, we'll have you read the jokes. First one, then two, and then three. And if they give you as big a laugh as I think they may, you get the television set. And of course, Joe has helped a great deal. All right, sure. let's read the, the first joke. Why does the chicken cross the road? to get to the other side. <laughs> right away, you get your finger out because you're ready, right? Well, you see, it's all in how 
while you read it. Now, would you try it once again? The next joke, please. Who was that gentleman I saw you with last night? That was no gentleman. That was my husband. <laughs> Why, you found it, you see? You see? Oh. Wonderful. Well. Now, we'll try one more because I tell you, you have really become a star tonight. The last one. Why does the fireman wear red suspenders to hold his pants up? <laughs> Yeah, no. <laughs> Avon, Avon uh, I tell you, Avon, you have tonight proven yourself to be a comedian. Now you had, you had a little bit of help, and and you, would you like to see what the help was consisted of? Yeah. Huh? I'm watching that hand. Don't worry about that one. That's the one you want to worry about. <laughs> yeah. I'd like to ask you a few questions about yourself. Yes. Born? Of course I was born. What do you think? I was incubated or something. <laughs> where were you born? In bed. No, whereabouts? Oh, next to mum. <laughs> what state? Naked. <laughs> you know, this live television is really nerve-wracking. So many things can go wrong. Well, we've been lucky up to now, but, you know, in film shows, I, I'm going to let you know the secret, something goes wrong or somebody makes a slip, they can cut it out or do it over again. But, you know, it, it, it's so nerve-wracking in live TV. We are straight on the air with this one. I, I sit at home now and watching other people on TV, and you know what happens? I keep waiting for somebody to make a slip. I do. I can't help it. And it, it suddenly occurred to me the other day, nothing ever goes wrong in the television commercials. You ever notice that? Boy, they're slick. They're so well rehearsed. There are hundreds of tapestries and materials for you to choose from, including a full range of some of the finest quality Australian Vinexes money could buy. Now, this convertible even has a reclining back, which gives you that greater comfort. You'll also find that it will seat four people by day and at night in seconds converts to a really comfortable all sprung Now, I'll show you something. Down here, I have a bucket of water. This is to show you how easily a glowy shirt will uh, come wash clean. Look, I just dunk it in one, like that, and look at that. <laughs> Perhaps you like the classical masterpieces, or the dreamy and slow dance tunes. Then the Astor 8 is made for you. A few little drops of Californian puppy, a few little drops that song. It makes your scalp feel nice, it makes your hair look nice, it makes your head smell nice. You'll find the girls look twice. If you use Californian puppy. If you've got nice legs, you've got to share them up. Mmm, with Style Girl stockings, for instance. Makes everyone admire you. And makes nice legs nicer. Style Girl stockings in mesh or micro mesh. Style Girl stockings in seamed or seamless sheer. And all at the same price, too. Only nine eleven for Style Girl. I like Style Girl stocking with face. You show your legs. We'll do the commercial. Style Girls, the smart girls who like to be thrifty. Almost any subject which you can think of, I think, is covered and presented especially for the ladies in the women's sessions every afternoon on television. This, of course, is the ladies' domain. And any man who happens to have viewed an afternoon session will, I think, agree that an almost encyclopedia of facts and information are presented to the ladies, your wives, as they sit at home for their entertainment and their enlightenment. This is the domain of Elaine White. And here we see Elaine just coming in now, I think. She's preparing the afternoon program for this afternoon. Let's have a chat to her and see exactly how the program works, shall we? Were you trying to put those it's pictures straight? Hello, Roger. <laughs> That's a little phobia of mine. They must be straight. Sometimes <laughs> we're lucky, somewhere. sometimes we're not. <laughs> Well, this time of the year, I suppose Mother's done a lot of cooking. She's been in the kitchen. And some of us also have been spending time on the beach. In other words, we have been inclined to neglect our hair. Quite a number of people have untidy hair. To keep the hair tidy, you just lay that on the hair like so. The idea of doing it is to keep the hair in place while it's drying. And now it's time to say hello once again to Roma Blair. We're going to commence this afternoon with a little slapping on the buttocks. So, everybody ready to go?
steel wool from rusting, squeeze as dry as possible each time you use it and stand it on an old upturned aluminium saucepan then. That way you will prevent any rust. Well then remember to take your can opener because there's nothing worse than arriving at a picnic and finding you haven't got your opener. And you've probably been drinking quite a lot too. You know, wine, pink champagne. One million mothers, I'm sure, have blessed the little black box for the hours of peace and quietness it has given them, while young Johnny and Jemima have sat with rapt attention watching their favorite television program. Hello, boys and girls. Last week I was talking to you about problems we have when things don't grow properly in our jaws and teeth. Well, this week I have another little patient come along, Yvonne, and we're going to show you a little problem she has developed. Would you just open your mouth, Yvonne, and we'll show the boys and girls what we mean. Close together. You see how her teeth bite right down the top teeth over the lower teeth and bite right close together. Now, if we ask Vaughn to relax her mouth, just close together, darling, and bring the lips gently together, you see how we're getting what we call in an adult person the development of a nutcracker face. Would you open up, darling? That's the girl. Now, there's Vaughn's plate in. Would you close together? That's it. Now, you begin to see when she brings her lips lightly together that this very ugly fold which was developing from her bite collapsing is now beginning to come out of her face. And so here is one way of beginning to overcome this problem of teeth lost before they should be lost. Thank you for coming in, Vaughn. Bye-bye now, boys and girls. Bye-bye. I might mention to you that lady's teeth now are absolutely perfect and she has a dreadful complex about what the TV dentist told her. And one million mothers, I'm sure, would be most impressed if they'd care to notice the good, clean, wholesome fun which goes into the making of such children's programs as the Channel 9 Pins, presented, of course, by Desmond Tester. Now Desmond has been associated with children's programs almost since the inception of the medium in this country, so I'm pretty sure he's quite well versed to speak upon this particular subject. How exactly do you set out, Desmond, to create a program purely for children? Oh, don't know that I do. I think I set out to create a program that might entertain adults and then scale it down, but never talking down, so that it's uh, primarily for kids. This, then, is the basic ingredient of a children's program, you think? I think so. I don't think they're really sort of special. They're just younger, their experience is a little more limited than, say, yours and mine. But they're not all that special. Me, 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 me. Yo, 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 yo. Me, 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 me. Yo, 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 yo. Just fixing it for Mr. Harvey, Miss Penny. Me, me, me. Me, 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 why are you screwing that piano? Oh, I'm just fixing it for you, sir, so you can play a bit better than you did last week. You can't go wrong if you sing a song. It's a happy, happy, happy day. day. Let us open the gateway to make-believe land. Oh, no, oh, no, no. Oh. Oh. It's the good spirit of Christmas. That's who it is. Yes, he must have realized somebody needed a special kind of magic. I mentioned earlier that children's programs are valuable. Although the main objective of such programs is purely to, or basically, to entertain the youngsters, the producers always bear in mind their responsibility towards helping to train the thinking of our younger citizens into the correct channels. stars defy death as they actually leap from one almost moving vehicle to another right before your very eyes. In television, the unexpected is always likely to happen. But a fellow can get hurt making children's programs, or at least wet. Take something like Mel Ward's Payala. All those legends and stories about the Aborigines of the old days and today's, and today, they, it may be educational, but by Jove, it's good entertainment. 
and the great spirit, filled with rage, jumped out of the top of the gum tree and flew straight up into the sky, way out beyond the stars. We're looking for a boy or a girl between the ages of six and ten who can sing or play an instrument or even do rope tricks. If you can, get your mother and father to write in. Well, some picture, things have stayed the same since 1956. We've Bobby, still got American compares. Here's one I think you'll all remember. See if you know this old mark. Remember that? Waltzing Matilda. Here are some of the boys I'm looking for. They, Lee Henderson told me earlier they were down here in the audience. The BGs, Barry A, the leader of the group, come here. Barry Gibb and your, young, and your young brothers. Now, come on, who are you? Which is which? Your twins, eh? I'm Robin. Robin? And Morris. And Morris. Yes. Now, you all seem together, eh? That's right. Mm -hmm. And your brother, Barry Place. Now, come on up. Come on up here. That's right. On up through there. Put you right in the picture. Put you right in the room. You're going to stand up on the high level? Mm -hmm. That's the thing. Mm -hmm. Now, is it true that you write your own pieces, Barry? It's true, Desmond. And uh, what are you going to play for us now you've come down from Brisbane? Uh, time is passing by. All right, then, we'll hear you all together. lovely ballad, an affair to remember. For this program, she is Miss Lonely Heart, but I don't believe it. It's Helen Reddy. Miss Lonely Hearts, tell me what's wrong. Here's Bill McCormick. The singer number he recorded in England and put high on the hit parade list. You like it? It's called Fascination. It was fascination, I know. Hi, fellow Hi Fi. Welcome once again to the Hi Fi Club. It's nice to have you with us. A good bright opening for tonight. The High Marks back. Uh, for a number which I think you possibly heard on the hit parades quite often, they back Grade Wicker, and we join Grade and his Cradle of Love. Jack fell for Jill and he gave her a shot, landed in the Cradle of Love. Well, hello there. We uh, interrupt that commercial to bring you back to the show again. It's, uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's, uh, it's my pleasure now, ladies and gentlemen, to introduce to you a young man who we in Australia can be truly proud of. As a matter of fact, he is the biggest recording star we have. A wonderful guy, a wonderful trooper. Ladies and gentlemen, it's my pleasure to introduce you now, Carl Joy. There he is, yes. Well, Carl, it's, may I say we're very, very proud to have you on the show. And um, what are you going to sing for us, kid? Uh, I'd like to do one off our ne next record. It's one of the sides. It's a revival of the old one. Yes, sir, that's my baby. Ah, hasn't been released yet. No, it won't it's be released. It's going to be released soon. Weekend. Oh, yeah, we'll let you know. Uh, well, <laughs> yes, sir, that's my baby. Off you go, Carl. <laughs> Thanks, Carl. Well. Yes, sir, she's my baby. No, sir, I don't need maybe. Yes, sir. She's my baby now. Have you, have you got a philosophy for teenagers? I know this is a bit off the beaten track, but it's a question that... Hmm, it is, isn't it? I might sort of uh, yeah, I, I guess I've got a philosophy. Um, I think that the, um, let me see, the mums and dads of yesterday, no, the mums and dads of today were the teenagers of yesterday, and I think the teenagers of today, well, in the future, will be the mums and dads, and and somebody else will be the teenagers. Work that one out. <laughs> That's pretty good, isn't it? And uh, so I think it's all up to their conscience uh, to do the right thing. And I, I think the main thing is 
the best philosophy in life is just to be yourself, and uh, I think you'll get through okay. Well, that's good. Mm. That's good. I think so. Have you... Um, Thank you. All right, round of applause for that one. Take a bow. Take a bow. What do you think teenagers require from television, Brian? Entertainment. <coughs> I think almost exclusively. And what form should this entertainment take? Music, singers, and songs. It is specifically musical entertainment they require. I feel so. I, I'm sure there's a, a, an audience for jazz and uh, similar type programs, but in the main, pop songs and singers. I see. I have heard uh, some criticism, uh, some viewers who have said that in their opinion, rock and roll programs are pure exhibitionism. Thank you. Of all the numbers that we've recorded, this is the newest, and I think this is the most exciting number that we've ever sung. We hope you feel the same excitement in it, because when I throw my hand up, we want you to all scream out the word, shout! Exhibitionism. I would say they're talking about the style of presenting songs. Well, the opening number in today's show is from Johnny O'Keefe. Johnny is, I'm sure, very good as an exhibitionist. But remember, and I think this is a very important point, to get across a song anywhere, at any time or any type of song, you need showmanship. I don't think you should confuse the two. And Johnny has his full measure of showmanship. Good evening and welcome to Name That Tune. This is, of course, the quiz game that everybody can play. All you have to do is recognize the songs you've heard all your life and we'll give you a run for your money. <laughs> I'm sure you do something here. With... What was the name of that song? <laughs> There's Mr. Jim Hannon of Darlinghurst who last week successfully answered all seven songs correctly and is back for the second round of the Melody Marathon. Song number seven coming up. If you can answer this one correctly, you're going for 35 pounds. You only have three seconds left. If you can answer this song correctly, Jim, you'll win the right to come back even for the third time. Oh, so no, song right. number seven coming up. Can you name this tune? <laughs> A heat wave is right, a tropical heat wave. You, oh. together with Miss Cool, have won 35 pounds. The Pressure Pack Company, a division of the Samuel Taylor Organization, makers of famous Mortein, present the Pressure Pack Show with Jack Davy. It's Pressure Pack time and the Pressure Pack Show. When people try to find out what you and I know, just imagine you're here in the studio. With Pressure Pack Jack and his own style, versatile, make you smile, Pressure Pack Show! And there he is, Pressure Pack Jack Davies! to you by Persil and Sunsil. And here's the man you've been waiting for, the man to give the money away. There he is, Jack Davies! Relax, that's all right. Just don't get carried away because I can't give you all a pound in snatch and grab, but I, I sat next to two very nice ladies here. Uh, now, when I say jump up, you just take your time. But remember, this is only a half-hour show. Wait, wait a minute now. I'll, I'll go around the other side. It'll, it'll, it'll be much easier for all concerned. You must be ready because I'm going to tap you two right. Up you get. 
I might say with alacrity. That was very well done. Yeah. Blood is thicker than what? Ooh. All right, you sit down. What was the answer? After that. Yeah, I'm the baby. Do bananas grow upwards or downwards? Uh, upwards. Downwards. Well, make up your mind. I'll give you one more try. Downward. One more try. Downward. That's the girl. Downwards. Yes, they they down like that on the bunch. They're very happy. They grow upwards. They do. Mm -hmm. Were you standing on your head when you last saw this bunch of bananas growing? I don't think if so. If you no. were, you get ten packets of purple. If you weren't, well, perhaps I was standing. That's right. <laughs> okay. So you've got ten packets of purple. The privately owned Four Square Stores present. The Happy-Go-Lucky Show, starring George Foster. Good afternoon, ladies. And welcome once again to the Happy-Go-Lucky Show. Well, I'm very glad to see a big audience out here, and uh, we're going to have lots of fun today, I think. Uh, I'd like to meet our very nice little hostess on the program, Elizabeth Waterhouse. Hello, Thank you. George. Don't you know the poem? You've never heard of it. Oh, goodness gracious. The village blacksmith under the spreading chestnut tree? Well, that's going to cost you your uh, ice cube tray. GTV presents Payne's Price is Right. It's Mannion. Everybody is in the dark completely in the program until we open the envelope, these I'd price authorities. On that panel. You do? Yes, definitely. Well, you can't have everything, Joy. You just, you just be beautiful. That's all we, oh, all we need, really. <laughs> it's a composite prize, the Vulcan Versatile Deep Ray Cooker, available from Payne's, as versatile as its name, quick, economical, and reliable. That's the Vulcan Versatile Deep Ray Cooker. And with the Vulcan, a case of dressed poultry by Sester. Sester Poultry, the best name in poultry. You look lovely over there with those birds. I'll take the money. I'll take the buck. I'll take the buck. I'll take the money. And here's your host, Australia's tip-top quiz master of ceremonies, Bob Pickerbox Dyer. Thank you very much, customers, and welcome to another Pickerbox show by Colgate Palmolive, which comes to you tonight from the studios of GTV9 in Melbourne. This is our seventh week in this current uh, Melbourne season. And boy, the thousand pound challenge is really getting hot. That's the last half of the show, but right now here's Dolly back with our returning contestants from last week. Here they come. Who is this charming big bloke, doll? Bob, our returning box picker is Frank Farger, a school principal. Hi, Frank. Hello. Frank, I found a little late that you were a school principal, but now we know why you're picking so many boxes. But before <laughs> we start, here's something from our sponsors. This is Palm Olive Supervive. Palm Olive soap with gentle olive oil can bring you a lovelier complexion in 14 days. The money of the box. What do you say, customers? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, uh, Frank, I think it's up to you. 66 pounds, huh? I'll still keep to the box. You'll still keep to the box? Well, we have a box for you. Bring it on, doll. Here it is, a box of 500 toothpicks. <laughs> oh, it's not a box, it's just, just, it's just 500 toothpicks. Well, that's the luck of the game in pick a box. If you pick the box, you have to get anything. Oh, dear Lord. <laughs> Who is this, please, doll? Bob, this is Barry Jones from Caulfield, a school teacher. Oh, Barry. Did How you did hear you? that, Bill? No, I heard it. Sound <laughs> ominous to you? Sounds ominous. All right, are you ready now? His score is three out of five. Who was the father of the two little princes said to have been murdered in the Tower of London? The father was Edward IV. That is correct. Who wrote the picture of Dorian Gray? Oscar Wilde. Right. On what river does Berlin, Germany stand? The Spree. Wow. We have a winner. Uh, this is your old pal Bob Pickerbox Dyer saying, Happy Lazarus, customers. Your first question is, how many people work in the PMG? Half of them. She's right, customer. She's right. The Kennedys, the Lanes, the Walshers, the Sigleys, and the Newtons all owe a lot to this man who pioneered coast to coast variety.
Thank you and good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Listen, sweetheart, we're playing cards. You tell us. Sorry, but we're in the middle of a game. What? I can't help that. I can't help it. Let me get a word in. Look. Just don't ring up anymore. A husband's got a right now and again to have some fun, right? <laughs> oh, uh, goodbye. <laughs> Good on you, boy. That's a teacher. <laughs> hey, old Charlie knows. Yeah, that's the only way to talk to your wife, Charlie. It was your wife. <laughs> You're a liar. You mind your own business. <laughs> My business is your business. Oh, I beg your pardon. Just remember this, we're not married yet, you know. The salad, sir. What's left of it? Will you be needing the tomato sauce, sir? <laughs> Thank you, sir. Here, have some of this. Ladies and gentlemen, as you can see, this young lady is standing in the center of the stage. She is not attached by wires or strings of any kind. Ah, I am right. not going to put her into a box or a trapdoor of any kind. But, ladies and gentlemen, I am going to make this young lady disappear before your very eyes. I'd rather not. Thank you. <laughs> thank you very much. Thank you. I now take my magic cape. I hold it in front of the young lady and I say the magic words. Abad, Mashal, Zakari, Rashad! <laughs> hey, she's gone! She's, right. she's disappeared! She's gone! No kidding! And now, and now, ladies and gentlemen, we shall achieve the even more difficult feat of making the young lady reappear! You gonna bring her back again? That's right. Here. Come here. <laughs> Only for a couple of weeks. It's interesting to note, I think, that different cities react differently to television stars, and they are stars, and big ones, too. For example, in Melbourne, something of a phenomenon took place, because here, one of Australia's first big stars was created. In Melbourne, the taxi drivers, the waitresses, the businessmen, the housewives, and the doctors took to their hearts Graham Kennedy. Marist Brothers, here we go. Marist, Marist, Marist. Oh, yeah. One, two, three. You shouldn't do that, as a matter of fact, because <laughs> what you're playing is something very sacred and you shouldn't start shouting out, get someone. No. No, it's every time I hear the skirl of the pipes. It's not the pipes. Every time I hear it. Mara's Brothers drum. Mara's Brothers drum. One, two, three.
it's all it's all different, Graham. It slipped. We had we obviously had different educations. We I went to a boys' school. Did you go to a mixed school? Entirely Protestant. So that's <laughs> right. Right. I've just given two commercials for Vira, actually. <laughs> so, foot. I couldn't change. Soak foot in water. Oh, no, put your foot in there. Just a minute. <laughs> for a few minutes. <laughs> We've had it. That's five seconds of toe. <laughs> They're doing well. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I love doing it. See if I can just get one right in the set. Oh, look, it's all blurry where I've licked it. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it's not the trouble is not in your set. It's my lick on our lens. <laughs> right in the high little diddle. <laughs> I've got it, I've got it. Make it in the middle. Oh, I can. I'll get one underneath that. Put it back again on me, that, with the thing there. <laughs> I'd walk a million miles for one of yours. <laughs> ah! Marvellous. Now, lady. Oh, look! No, don't, don't move, right? Hi, Mousketeers! <laughs> Another wonderful artist, Evie Hayes. We saw a lot of Evie, and besides being a, a great performer, she was, as Graham often said, one of the best floggers in the business. I still love you, Evie. And I love you back, Graham. But of all IMT's overseas stars, none had more impact than two irrepressible American boys who virtually burst upon Melbourne in February 1960. This became known as the Dilo and Daly era. <laughs> Right behind the rain Oklahoma Every night my honey lamb and I We sit alone and talk And watch our heart Making lazy circles in the sky Now we know we belong to the land And the land we belong to is grand And when they say I am I was playing the drum arena. Who asked you to play the drums on my number? You're not even supposed to be out here. Graham said you go ahead Look, and play the drums. Look, the point is you have completely ruined our opening. Now what are we going to do? Well, we, we could we could start out with a do it. A what? We we could do we could do a do it. A do it. You mean a duet? A duet. You want to sing in unison? No, we can sing right here, but I want to do a number. For, oh. Do a number for the audience. Never mind. Look. Tell you what we'll do. We'll do a number together. Okay, do All it. Right? Right. Do it. Good. Right. Now I've got just the part for you. Okay. Can you? <laughs> Would you do it once more, please? <laughs> Very simple. Just watch like this one. I can do it. <laughs> Wonderful. You pick up very fast. Yes, I, I wish I could. Now, wait, just more. Now, <laughs> now, can you... You change keys. Just try. Right. That's enough. Put them both together. They spell mother. Just... <laughs> <laughs> A 
once and I'll keep repeating it over and over. Just keep going with it. Would you help Master Arthur, please, fellas? There's a song in the air But the fair senorita Doesn't seem to care For the song in the air So I'll sing teasing you If you're sure she won't think That I am just a fool Serenading I'm sure there are a few of you sitting at home this evening who can truthfully say that you dislike variety programs. Most of you, we know, thoroughly enjoy it. And because of your support in the variety programs, we've been able to spend a lot of money and spend a lot of time on these particular programs. And with your support guarantee, we've also brought over top-line artists from overseas. Here's Sammy Davis in one of the very first stadium shows. Look down, look down. That lonesome road Someone sneaking Round the corner Is that someone Back tonight? Yes And I seem to find a happiness I seek When we're out together Oh boy, I'm lucky this is my lucky day. I gotta find a few quid somewhere. I polish up my shoes and slick my hair. Hey now. seen a new act. <laughs> this, then, is television, catering for all tastes, all ages, and every mood. A vast new world brought right to you in your home. Television, the greatest medium of entertainment ever offered to the Australian public. We hope you enjoyed the fabulous 50s on. Keep collecting the four remaining DVDs in our exclusive series, 50 Years of TV. They're available from your newsagent, thanks to the Herald Sun and Channel 9.
dedication, power, accuracy and grace are essential for this level of perfection. To ask this of a novice is madness. For them to agree is just the beginning. Torben and Dean, the world's greatest skaters, are coming down under to train nine faces you know in a situation you won't. The new Australian series, Torben and Dean's Dancing on Ice, on Channel 9. Temptation, weeknights at 7 on 9.